Okay, I thought I'd give this a shot. This is not for certification purposes or anything like that. This is just to see how far along I am and to show people how far. This is a COC number three. I don't know if it's focused in or not. Anyway, it's an older one actually. I thought I'd get, I got chalk on my hand. Thought I'd give this a shot and see if I could close this one. I'm gonna try for I'm gonna try the left-handed one after this in my left hand. See how far along I am with this. I don't. About an inch. This is the CLC three for left handed. I don't know if you can see it. And I'm gonna give this a shot with my left hand. It was pretty much an uh, inch and a quarter from it being closed. Anyway, uh, I would uh, try to do that on camera. I'm going to try one more. I got a little bit of chalk still on my hand. This is the GHP7. This is uh, going to probably be a little harder than, what, than it would be because uh, I just did that, tried the other one. But this is also, I believe, one that uh, you can get sort of for, sort of. and it's about two inches. I ain't getting nowhere with that. Anyway, wanted to share that. Also, I got, uh, I moved this up to uh, 80, um, I believe this is 80 pounds on here. It's a 45 pound bar. It's a 5 on each side and 2. Well, that's a 10, a 10 on each side and 2 5s and a 2 and a half. I believe that's 80, 80, 80 85 pounds. I thought I'd try this. I'm going to sit right here. Hopefully this magnet doesn't mess up my phone. I got a big old magnet here. I got probably not far enough away from my phone. I'm gonna try for see how many I can get on camera. This is this 85 or 80, 80 to 85 pounds? I think it's 80. I was going to try for 50, but I got to 40, I believe. Anyway, more about this magnet. I've had it at this for a while. But I figured I'd show you soon. I'll set you up here for a second. Do you want to do something? Leave this magnet will hold at least 50 pounds. I have here on the floor a 45 pound and I can put it right there, magnet right there. It's about middle. 
I'm going to have to use both hands here because I don't think I can do this one handed now. I'm going to put you right here. And you can see, as you can see, it holds the 45 in the center a little bit better. I'm going to see if I can put uh, two tens on there and see if uh, it'll hold. Uh, Try to go for a maximum hold on it and see. Um, I put two tens. That's the only two tens I got. Give it. Give it a shot with the two tens here. That would be set uh, sixty-five pounds. So now I'm gonna set you back over here. Cause I don't want it to fall. It should fall. Cause I don't want to. I don't want it to fall on my phone. And it holds it. So it's actually got quite a bit of power behind it. I'm gonna try to put another, another tent. There's some eyes on there. Give that a shot. And it holds it. Set of, another set of fives and make it put the, the line there. If this holds a, this is set uh, 45. I think this is about 85 pounds now. It still holds. Jump it up to 90. That seems to hold. I can't go. I don't. I don't have anything else to go any higher. So it's a pretty strong magnet, stronger than I thought magnet. I only been able to put, only able to put a 45 on there, but now I can add more on there. I imagine this probably will hold 100 pounds. My guess is. Anyway, thank you for watching.